guy uh, that's an option. Um, there's this animal. Um, this is when all the reporters, producers, um, managers meet. Uh, the reporters, we bring one or two story pitches to the table and um, the managers decide, based on the news of the day, what stories we end up doing. So, you know, our, our day doesn't start at 9.30 when we start at this meeting. For morning reporters, it starts maybe a couple hours before work, unless you've got something set up already, because you're looking for stories, um, you're making calls on stories, you're sending emails on those stories, because the idea is to come to work with a vetted story, at least, that you can turn. It doesn't always happen that way, but that's the goal. I've kind of been all over the United States in the last decade that I've been in the business. I started in Washington State, and then I moved to Texas, and then I spent three years in Kansas City, Missouri, before coming here to Atlanta, where I've been the last two years. It is a heck of a news town. Right, so we are in Gwinnett County. It's uh, north of the city of Atlanta. Um, meeting here with the uh, police chief of Gwinnett County Police uh, for an update on the Susana Morales case. Um, we don't know what the chief's gonna say. Um, th this case uh, has been unfolding over the last several weeks. Susana Morales, uh, she disappeared back in July of last year, just last week. Uh, an officer, a former Doraville police officer, was charged in connection with her death. So today, I mean, given that it's the police chief, you would imagine that we might learn something significant in the case, um, but we will see. Everybody ready? Good afternoon. I'm Chief J.D. McClure of the Gwinnett County Police Department. Today I'll be providing an update as it relates to the death of 16-year-old Susanna Morales of Little Cross, Georgia. Since that time, our criminal investigators have been working this case continuously, and we have reached the threshold to where these charges have now been upgraded to felony murder and kidnapping charges. And at this time, I'll take any questions that you may have. Do you believe he acted alone? At this point, there's no information to indicate that anybody else was involved. So we just heard from the police chief here in Gwinnett County, and as we suspected, additional charges uh, against the police officer, um, now charged what, with murder and kidnapping? Uh, Susanna Morales, you, you know, in the press conference, we learned some things, but we still don't know how Susanna Morales died. Oh, they put us in the noon, so I'm gonna go write a quick script, um, and we got 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. The announcement made just moments ago. Yeah, and we learned Miles Bryant now charged with murder and the kidnapping of 16-year-old Susanna Morales. Well, thank you for your time. So I just called uh, the sister and she politely declined. She says that the family's not uh, gonna give any more inter media interviews, at least for now, but when they decide to, they'll, they'll let us know. I, I followed up, w would you like to at least, you know, give a statement? Uh, um, and she said, not at this time, so. And you know, the family, they, they have granted the media several interviews, so. You know, you gotta respect that they just need some time. The desk said that they put in a formal request uh, for the warrants, but they said it might be quicker if we just go to the magistrate's office or the clerk's office and get them ourselves, which that's probably faster. I'm, my name is Axel, I'm a reporter. We got the warrants for murder and kidnapping. It basically reads, defendant abducted and killed a 16-year-old girl. Her body was jumped without any clothes indicating a possible sexual assault. Additionally, the defendant has a history of attempting to break into homes of girls that he has a romantic interest in. That's disturbing. Basically, Gino's getting another car. I'm gonna drive separately and we're gonna meet each other at the scene. Time management, I think, is key. Um, I think it's the most important thing. Um, and, and trying to get, you know, as many voices for the story. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. We're headed to the apartment. We're gonna go there. We're gonna work from there. That's our office now. These are the apartments uh, where the officer lived and where Morales was visiting a friend. We try to give the photographers at least an hour to edit. It, not packages, at least. What, what, what? I'm really good about that, actually. <laughs> Gino Collins uh, is my photographer. You know, every day we kind of sometimes work with a different photographer. It just kind of depends on staffing, but, um, you know, 
I work with Gino quite a bit, so we kind of get each other. But he's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> 252, sometimes you gotta keep an eye on him. But Zach is pretty much a, a professional, which makes my job a whole lot easier because there's a lot of things I don't have to worry about because I know that he's on it. He's just a good person, easy to get along with. And I think that's one thing in the field when you can get along with somebody, it makes your day easier. This makes the most sense for us to do our live shot because it gives us something to reference behind us versus police headquarters where it's just you're standing there still. Atlanta News First reporter Zach Summers has been following this story all day. He joins us live from the Sterling Glen Apartments in Norcross where Bryant lived. Zach, what can you tell us? Well, we now know Susanna Morales was visiting a friend at this very same complex that Miles Bryant lived and worked security detail. You know, it's always nice when you sort of know what your day is going to potentially look like. Um, you know, headed into today, I knew I was going to cover a press conference. I mean, it would have been nice, you know, to have gotten another element to the story outside of just the chief talking about the, you know, the details of the case. But I mean, you, you do what you can with what you have. And uh, I mean, I think the story turned out great. I think the viewers learned something about the case that they didn't know. Um, and uh, you know, we got to have lunch, <laughs> which is rare. So I'll take that as a win. <laughs> the value we bring to, or we add to communities just by keeping them informed with what's happening. I think that, uh, that's huge, and that's half the joy of doing what we do.